I'll watch some TV. It'll help me to relax! Welcome back to the Ren and Stimpy recap. Last week we talked about No Pants Today, and today we are taking a look at Circus Clowns? And with these hands, I hope the fate of millions. I really like this title card. I like everything about it actually. The colors, the font, Ren and Stimpy, and the silhouettes of the clowns. It's, it's just great all around. Then the music is fire as well on top of that. Great way to start the episode off as well. One thing I will always give this show is that it knows how to set a mood. Big uh, out west vibes with uh, this one. I'm getting a western feel with this episode. So the two have somehow ended up here, in the middle of nowhere. It's always fun when the episode just kicks off with no context, like it just starts at a completely new location, like the two are heading home from an adventure in an episode we haven't seen yet. It's really fun. Hey Ren! It's a car! Smile Ren! Smile! Stimpy spots cars and the two put on their best smiles uh, but it's no use since no one wants to pick them up. Ren is already starting to snap. Shut up! You've been saying that for three years so shut up! You'd think this was a space episode with that three year thing. So they have been out here for a while that's for sure. They hear honking and get back up smiling again in hopes of getting a ride. Not even trying to get into the physics of that. This is an episode I remember a bit more about than the past three, so I know what's going on here, and I'm just gonna say I love the concept of a tiny car that's bigger on the inside. It's really fun. <laughs> These two clowns have some great designs. By the way, I am gonna refer to them as clowns and not say the episode title because I'm pretty sure that's like a slur and I kind of like having a YouTube channel. <laughs> I'm gonna admit, I started laughing right after Stimpy did here. I don't know, it's really dumb, but it's still really funny, which, you know, summarizes a lot of this show. Nah, why is this so funny? My humor gotta be broken or something, or this show is just too genius. The bigger clown grabs Stimpy and confronts him for, uh, like, laughing. When they were laughing. Who were you just laughing at? Was you laughing at me and my friend here? Uh. As usual, we get uh, really good voice acting here. This clown is rocking that Italian accent, and the voice actor is doing a great job. Are we clowns to you? Is that it? Do we look like clowns? Yes! We do, don't we? This smaller clown is doing a straight death stare here on the side. He smacks Stimpy, who flies back to Ren, who I kind of forgot was here. I just got done editing No Pants today, and that episode is like 10 minutes of just Stimpy. And he is even in a car with two aggressive people here as well, so it's kind of similar. Is it good to see you, boy? There have been so many subversion jokes in this scene. The clowns do this thing where they look like they're about to blow up and then immediately turn to being really calm, and it's done greatly and it's nice to watch. We're starting to get lonesome. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Shlomo, and he's Momo. So we got names for the clowns, Shlomo and Momo. We get the kind of weird detailed shot of the two, like the two's eyes, that doesn't make a lot of sense, and then Shlomo blows himself up. Shake! 
much it's nice to make new friends. Shlomo electrocutes Stimpy with a taser and Stimpy's nose breaks. Then he tries to prank Ren, who is not falling for it. At least that's what he thinks. How corny! The old squirt and flower trick. But as I am somewhat parched from my travails, what the hey! Instead of water, a bee comes out and hits Ren in the head with a screwdriver, giving us this very cursed visual. Momo uh, presses their laugh track button, which is pretty hilarious that they have one. Hey, what are you trying to pull? Have a cigar! But we don't... So much cursed imagery here already. I will say, this episode seems to be the first one of... I'm sure many to come, where Ren and Stimpy kind of get tortured for doing nothing, really. That's at least the sentiment I heard about games episodes, and I can at least remember a couple coming up that fit that description. How do they look? Hmm. They're adorable. Add that to the list of, uh, the very long list of Ren and Stimpy costumes. Ren talks back to Shlomo, who pulls out a whip and starts forcing the two to do a circus act, while uh, Momo looks like he's having a seizure. You want to be showbiz legend, don't you? Yes, I guess we do! Under threat of being shot by a cannon, Ren and Stimpy are now going to jump through a hoop, which Shlomo sets on fire, as Ren goes through it, turning him into grilled chicken, and then the same happens to Stimpy. Not even gonna try to make that make sense. They look kinda funny though. We gotta go water the flowers. So don't move from this car! When they get to a gas station, Shlomo and Momo hops out to go to the bathroom and Ren tells Stimpy they have to go as well. Or he has to go as well. Stimpy points out that there is a driver in the car and goes to ask him to let them out. Could you let us out? That's a good callback joke, I did not see that one coming. Ren tries to leave the car, but gets hit with a bag of money, and some tires, and Baba, and the gas thing, which is called Games Gas, which is good reference as well. <laughs> The two uh, clowns get back into the car and then steal a cow as well. And then a whale who sings uh, the Royal Canadian Kilted Yaxman song, which is another reference I got. I'm getting better at my Ren and Stimpy lore. Right, it's the cops! They are now being chased by the cops, who I think are also in a tiny car. No, wait, there. They're not really. I don't know, for like a second, it looked like they were in like a small car as well, but I think it's a normal sized car. Shlomo tells Ren and Stimpy that this is war and the car has a cannon now that they shoot uh, Momo through. Huh? Momo steals all the engine stuff from the police car and all looks good for the clowns until one of their car gets a flat tire and starts driving all over the place. <coughs> Just gotta point out that this is the second episode in a row where a car drives off a cliff. I'm not even sure if that's, it's like the last episode to do that either, so I'm guessing it's just a games thing. Everyone jumps out of the car, one by one, until only Ren and Stimpy are left inside. They are stuck, which is really funny since the literal whale just got out. They drive right into a mountain and are then back looking for a ride again on the road. And we nearly became circus stars, suffered minor third degree burns and survived a collision with the side of a mountain! When he puts it like that, I'm guessing it wasn't too bad for them. Ren is once again about to hit Stimpy when a fire truck pulls up. I think I know who is inside here. <laughs> Sir 
to smidge. Oh my god. The joke has come full circle. Now this is actually crazy. He mentioned that in season 1, then returned in season 2 to do it again, and then now once again he is here to mention it after we have seen them in this episode. I'm not saying it guys. But that is hilarious and shows that there actually is some weird form of continuity in this show. And that's how the episode ends. I think this was a good one, just another episode where our characters go on a journey with some crazy stuff happening. Come to think of it, it's a very similar story to the last episode. It was a fast moving one that went by really fast and the characters in it, like we had some returning characters and then we had some new characters in the clowns, which I enjoyed both of the clowns very much, they were really funny. This whole episode was pretty funny as well. I think when it comes to just surreal humor, this one really delivered. Like I said, the clowns were entertaining characters and the voice acting for them was on point. Yet another episode where Ren and Stimpy took more of a backseat, but in this one, I think it worked. Fun facts. This is the first episode with an original story idea from games instead of being a leftover idea from Spunko. And to be honest, if anything, this has given me more hope for this era we are in right now, because the story was actually good. All in all, a good episode. Join me next week, where we are taking a look at Ren's picks. Uh, <laughs> goodbye, folks. <laughs>